Hi, it's iPhone Tech for you here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to update your Apple iPod and iPod Touch to the 3.0 firmware update. Now, first, you're going to need your computer sync cable for your iPod or iPhone. You are also going to need your iPhone or iPod Touch, as well as a computer with a web connection and iTunes installed. Now, let's get started. First, you're going to need to connect your iPhone to the USB cable to your computer. Like so. Right, now we have that connected. Now, you need to open iTunes if it does not automatically open. Okay? You then need to click on the iPhone in your list of devices at the side of your iTunes screen. You will then need to need to click the update button if you don't get a pop-up asking you to do so. Now, so let's run through that with a couple of print screens for you, shall we? Once the jailbreak has got part way through, the, win the red snow window on your computer will say done on it. And there is a button on the bottom that says finish. Now, do not click finish at this point. Leave the window open. Also, you do not disconnect your iPhone or iPod Touch at this point. You will notice if you look at your iPod touch screen it is still working. It may have changed to a different picture. If it hasn't it probably will in a minute but it will still be working and you will still see the bar going along the screen on your iPhone or iPod touch. Now once it has finished you will see your see a screen that looks something like that although if you do not ha or have a sim card inserted at the time it will say no sim at the top here and it will also have a but message saying no sim in the middle here so then you need to insert your sim now you will find that it may take a couple of minutes to download and to activate and register that the sim is there so, after a couple of minutes, here, on here, it will change from no SIM to Vodafone. If you already have a SIM card in there, that should appear after a couple of minutes of the screen appearing like this. Now, at this point, you will be able to use your iPhone how you like. Like that. Right? but you will have a few more apps on your screen here. Now, if you were to go into your iPod, you will find that instead of having a list of songs, you actually have no songs and no videos in your iPod. Your contacts will have nothing, and you'll have nothing in your MMS, and, you will, and your favourites will be factory setting favourites, and your mail will not be set up, neither will alarm clock, and the other things like Wi-Fi that you have to set up on your iPad, iPad Touch. You'll also, as I said, you'll have more screens here, but you will get a pop-up message telling you how 
you can select them so that you have different things like that. Now, I, w I will be doing a video shortly about how to use your 3.0 with uh, and tips and tricks for 3.0 in the same video. Now, please wait for a while and that will be uploaded to YouTube shortly if it hasn't already been uploaded. Uh, please look at my channel for more videos and we hope this video has 